Hello everybody, so I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. Really cool place, been here since yesterday, and I thought that now would be a good time as any to talk about hotel security. Securing your belongings in your hotel room. And we spend a lot of money on things like hotel, on, on, on home security, we spend a lot of money on training, um, training ourselves with, with uh, you know, hand-to-hand -hand stuff, martial arts, firearms, knives, things like that. But how much do we know and how much do we practice hotel security stuff? So there's a fairly good possibility that where you're staying has an in-house safe. Something that you just set your code for and you put your belongings in. So hotel safes, at best, keep the honest bad guys out. They're not hard to crack, it's not like they're bulletproof, and they're not hard to rip out of the thin wooden shelf that was just put in there. But of course, people have to get through the front door first in order to get to them, so let's go over there. So of course, we're gonna start with the outside. What do people see from the outside of the door? From the outside of the door, you're going to, of course, see something like this. So do not disturb a privacy fine sign. Keep that sign up at all times. Now, for when you're in the room, there's, of course, that lock. These locks are not hard to beat. There's tools made to beat these locks. And any, any bad guy worth his weight knows how to defeat those locks. And, of course, there's the deadbolt as well for when you're inside the room. Now this particular room takes key card, a swipe key card or like an RFID key card, uh, which are a little harder to, to crack, but it is possible with the right kind of computer and setup and things like that, but I don't understand. But it is easily cracked. So one of the things you can do while you're gone, you have that sign up, turn your TV on, because it sounds like there's somebody in the room, but take a piece of paper from the notepad that is on the desk a little crease in it, especially here, and put it over that peephole. If you happen to have tape or something else to do that with, that's great, but put it over the peephole. The peephole can be used the other way around, not only for you to see out, but for somebody to see in. They can see in, they may hear the your, your TV on, see the do not disturb sign, but look in and know that there's nobody walking around in here. That means this room is free game. Now while there is other things I could probably go over throughout the room, I'm just gonna talk about this room in particular. That way I can actually show you different things. Now, take another piece of paper. This is the adjoining room door. And I understand that usually there is also a, a door on the other side, so a bad guy has to defeat two doors. But bad guys aren't always people that break in. Sometimes bad guys work here. And I hate to say it, but it's true. Take that piece of paper, stick it up here in the corner. Now, you're not going to mess with it. But if this door opens up, it's going to land on the floor. And the people that work here that open that door, or the bad guy that opens that door that doesn't work here, he's not going to know that you had that up there. It's just going to be a piece of trash on the floor, and nobody's going to think twice about it. But you will know that somebody came through this door. Of course, now you have the desk area. The desk area being the area that you have, say, your laptop or tablet or other, you know, a computer of some sort that sits here because you don't carry that around with you and it might even be too big to put in the in-home, uh, the in-house safe. So what do you do? Now, one of the things you do take with you is your cell phone. Uh, so what you want, you're, what you're going to want to do is, is position the things on your desk. So this is my girlfriend's tablet here. Here I have a flashlight that I'm probably not going to be carrying with me for a while, right? You're going to p position things on the desk that are in a specific way, right? Maybe you turn this one way or the other, the, the bottle, you have this flipped over one way or the other. Make sure it's something that they have to move in order to get to that important thing. And then simply... Take a picture of it. So what I have now is I have evidence of where everything was sitting on the desk. Now when you get back, if you think something has been moved, if you think that the, the tablet's been opened or your laptop's been opened, you can check to see if this has been turned or moved one way or the other, things like that. 
Really easy, simple little trick. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the safes, they're only kind of safe. Uh, they're, they are safe to a point, again, to somebody, they have to make it into the room to begin with, but after that, they're not hard to defeat and they're not hard to take with you. Uh, so what do you do? What do you what do you do? Say you're in some place like Las Vegas and you're collecting all these tickets that you're going to cash in at the end of your trip or you have a bunch of money you don't want to take cash out to the casino with you all the time. You don't you know, you have a certain amount, you want to take a certain amount each day and leave the rest here. Well, that's where creative hiding places come in. Now, where are some creative hiding places? So let's look around the room here. We have watching a TV show right now. Don't want to get a copyright strike. So these these cupboards, they're not creative hiding places because that's where anybody's going to hide something. With that said, one of the one of the early things I did when I came into this room was check to see if those if those paintings, if these pictures were mounted securely to the wall, and they're not, and they don't have an alarm on them either. So. They're hollow in the back. You can easily put something behind there. That is not something that somebody is going to really think about when rummaging through this room quickly. Now there is of course, no, not in the drawer, but tucked under the drawer. You can usually get something in right there. I, can, I can't show it to you on camera, but you have to take my word for it. But there, the whole bottom has a lip around it that I can stuck, stick money into if I want to. Now most furniture is either too heavy or either too heavy or bolted to the floor in a lot of hotels. But something like this footstool, I have already checked. Not only is it not bolted to the floor, but inside of the legs here, I can put stuff. I can put my cards, I can put in a, a wallet if I don't want to carry my wallet around, if I already have too much stuff in that in that uh, safe, whatever. But inside these legs. I can already put stuff. So these are the creative hiding places that I'm talking about. Now last but not least is doing your own surveillance. Uh, there are a ton of options out there on Amazon and eBay and other private sellers for small security cameras like nanny cams and things like that that are barely noticeable. Some plug into the wall and it looks like a USB charger for uh, your cell phone but the light is a little tiny camera. They're okay. Little tiny square ones. They're good. Um, all the way up to more elaborate ones, but they do sell inexpensive, small, like nanny cams, spy cams that are motion detected that you can put on places like there. Right there is a little ledge. You wouldn't be able to see it, but you could put one of those little tiny cameras on the little ledge of that light and it would show the whole room. That's just a, for instance. So that's it. We do home security, we do personal security. When you're in, not in your room, this guy takes care of you. But what takes care of your room? Again, the in-house safe isn't always the safest thing, safest thing out there. So learn some of these tricks, keep your hotel room safe, keeping you also safe throughout your trips. We'll talk to you later. And I'd like to thank ProtectAmerica.com. Protect America is, is sponsoring this month's of videos, so thank you very much. Protect America has rates starting at $19.99 a month and up, and they have been voted Consumer Digest Best Buy since 2008 in person in home security. Now, they have all the bells and whistles that you could possibly ask for. They have all the sensors, and it's all wireless, all no drill, no mess, uh, you know, all that fun stuff that nobody likes to get into. Uh, 24 hour, seven days a week week monitored security system I mean you really can't beat it now we go through and we take all these classes shooting classes and self-defense classes and all that spend hundreds of hundreds of dollars on doing that stuff for our personal security but what do we do for our home well with Christmas right around the corner check out protectamerica.com protect America again consumer digest best buy for home security since 2008 I suggest you check them out